I love the idea of Sangstur, the dusty traces of songs and poems drifting down the years. Tradition that can still be found if you bother to look. That wee weaver birdie flitting and flying put me in mind of the silver sound of an instrument once common in these parts and into the unexpected company of an old friend. Nigel, I have to say, this is a great surprise. I know you as an accordion player. I never knew you played the dulcimer. No, it's more of a recent development. He surmised that he came in with the sailors and fishermen and round the coast. Yeah. I suppose it was a simple thing to make as well. You know, if you're out in the country and you didn't have much, you could make one at home. There was a dulcimer player in Glasgow, and in one of his interviews, he said that everybody made one because they couldn't afford anything else. And so they, they bought a coil of piano wire, and I think his was actually made off uh, the Colsea door. <laughs> and uh, they got tuning pegs off an old piano that was broken and made their music. It's a lovely sound for something that's so, so simple. Incredible. The, the, the accordion used to get called the same, the poor man's piano. Yeah, I believe so. Or the, what do they call it? The stomach Steinway. <laughs> <laughs> it would be some size of a Steinway and maybe. <laughs> John Ray is an interesting character. He would be the dulcimer player back in the day that everybody knew about. He would have been the main man as far as I was concerned and played with the chieftains and uh, people came from all over from America and everywhere to visit him. He was still playing after everybody else had had stopped or, or passed away. He, he was playing right up to the finish in the early 80s. Keeping it going. Yeah, very much so. It's a fascinating instrument and it resonates so beautifully. And to hear reels and jigs played on it is unusual because it, there's this bed underneath it. I always played, as John Ray would have said, the music of my country. Yeah. He played reels, jigs and hornpipes. I think the, the, the faster, punchier dance music really, yeah. it, it suits. Are you guys aware of the Scottish connection here? Any of the musicians that I would have played with when I started to play would have played a lot of Scottish music. From the older men, they, they played all the Irish music, certainly, but there was a strong Scottish uh, influence in it. Even in, even in the style of playing, there was always a Scottish influence in it.